ethics in development. It is when a sense of morality pervades our life or lives that we feel responsible for each other. You know, the religion to which I belong is Christianity, and I'm happy for the fine opening our pastor here gave in his prayer for all of us. That religion teaches we should be each our brother's keeper. How do we do it? How do we embed it in our lives, individually and in our communal life? I tell you, it's leadership. And uh, so, as uh, the professor said, Legon has been gracious enough to give us a piece of land on campus, just across the street from the law and engineering faculties. If you go there, you see already we are completing the uh, block of offices, the conference rooms that the foundation uh, is calling the leadership center. That's only the first phase. Uh, the second phase, which is in the form of an auditorium or a theater, and that's where I think most of you would find that uh, you are very relevant to nurturing leadership. Second phase of theater and that with God's will, I'm sure you are all young people, you, some of you go to perform there. Uh, so I ask you help with the enlightenment of uh, the community on campus. We've gone somewhere, we are using resources. So far, I'd say much of it is coming from us, if you like personally, much of it. But uh, the work must be done and must be done timelessly. If I leave it to my pace, then I, it might not get done or finished within some years to come. But when all of us agree to put in our bits to foster the realization of the vision, then I believe it would happen even within the next two years or so. And that would be for the good of fostering uh, leadership and governance in our pursuit for sustainable development for our entire community and beyond, Africa and humanity. So this is why I'm supporting the cause of uh, raising funds. So we do what we can uh, to help instill uh, the, the search for sound leadership and responsible and accountable governance within our society. Um, you've come today, I'm not sure you came with a pocket full of money, but uh, the whole idea is to let you know that there's some cause going, and we believe it's a good cause, and we believe you'll share in this belief. If you are not able to contribute today, perhaps through your agency, uh, you may get others to come around to help give the resources to the foundation to continue to do the things that uh, would enable it to uh, foster uh, leadership, the sense of leadership and good governance in our up and coming youth. And uh, uh, the way you do it, I said you may in your individual ways spread the news. The gift you have, your talent, is performance. Like this maestro sitting by me here. Uh, when he takes his guitar to play, even old ones like us, we can stay still on our seats. If while we can't stand to dance, we may sit on our seats and begin to do our own thing. And I'm sure the younger ones, I see all of you, you are all here, ladies and gentlemen. So the concerts are necessary perform to convince people that they should support this good, good cause. Um, 7th December is the eve of my birthday. God willing, coming 8th December, uh, would 
record my 81st birthday. I didn't fix this date, but uh, the good professor here and uh, some staffers at the foundation in their cleverness, they've tied the concert to this date so that uh, I'm forced to begin to celebrate my birthday from the 7th. Incidentally, you'd remember that uh, Ghana, oh, this year, next year may be a change, but so far Ghana has been holding annual election 7th December uh, for the results to be known, yeah. hopefully 8th December. Again, I didn't fit the times. It was just sheer coincidence. I have you one. It wasn't an accident according to plan, I can assure you. <laughs> So summit is becoming very, very significant. And uh, so uh, I'm sure the planners of the concert uh, will ensure that we are all included. And you can, you may have just about, say, five to 10 minutes to perform, but you'll be contributing immensely to a cause that hopefully will be sustainable to help develop our community and beyond Africa, the whole of Africa, because leadership or poor leadership has been the bane of our continent. And this is why the natural resources are not uh, coming together to benefit all of us. And this is the message the foundation is trying to do. So I'm happy you've all come in your numbers. Uh, I have a feeling you came with love. You came because you love me and uh, because uh, you see me uh, or see in me the grand old, either grandpa, grand uncle, uh, grand father, and all of it. So I want to thank you very much for your coming, and I pray that you enjoy your visit and that you take with you this message to prepare for 7th December concert, and not only that, also to carry the message around with you uh, to our general community and if possible, in beyond our community. So God, God bless all of you for coming in your numbers for this evening. Thank you very much.